So now that we've figured out how the flood happened and got it repaired, now we've got to take care of the aesthetic problem. So I'm going to have my guys from Fix come in and see what they can do to help Lori out. So Lori, our mitigation guys are done with their work. Everything is dried out from the water damage. The pipe's been fixed and everything's good that way. Now we're ready to go ahead and start on the repair work. Um, and that's going to include new insulation, new drywall, new baseboards, all new trim, and we're going to paint everything like it never even happened before. So we're going to start that right away. Okay. Um, you know, we, we were thinking about doing a remodel and we thought this might be the perfect time to do it. Yeah. We have a couple bedrooms upstairs that we'd like to combine to make a master and then possibly put new flooring down and redo our stairs. That sounds like a great project, and it sounds like a lot of fun for us. We'd really like to do that for you, and now would be a great time to do that. Our guys are going to be here um, doing the work already on everything downstairs and, and doing that. So um, what I'd like to do is put together some ideas and put some plans together for you and bring that back to you and, and let you see those, those ideas that we have. Okay, that'd be great. So Lori, from the conversation that we had, you want to do a remodel upstairs and create a master suite. So here's some of the ideas that I had. We can completely knock down this wall that separated the two bedrooms. We need to take that furnace and put it up into the attic. And what that'll do is enable us to have a large master bedroom for you. Right. And then we're going to do a, a built-in master tub right here by the window. That'd be awesome. You'll have a great view of the valley right there. Um, let's move on to the master shower. We're going to do a steam shower for you. Awesome. Right there. Next to that, you're going to have a private toilet area where it used to be out in the open. Mm -hmm. Your own, you have a lot more privacy, which is great. That would be great. And then you remember before here in the corner, you had another bedroom. Now, if we, if we close that in and get rid of that, that uh, entrance, that door, we'll have a very large master closet for you. I love that. And then right next to it, what I was thinking was we could do a stackable washer and dryer right next to the master closet. That would be perfect because then I wouldn't have to take my clothes downstairs anymore. I thought you would like that a I lot. I love it. So Jay, when we got here to the Jamesons and specifically on this stairway, it was really narrow mm -hmm. because the original builder of this railing just did the simple way. They did a straight railing straight up. So in, in customizing the house and, and making it uh, a nicer feature, we decided to do an S turn and do some goosenecks on this. So you this literally rail. move back the newel post and then brought it up and you're going to wrap it around. Yeah. So what that does is it creates more space and, and makes it easier to get up that stairway. Furniture gets up a lot easier, things yeah. like that. But it does complicate things because in order to get these S turns and goosenecks, they have to be ordered a few weeks out. So you have to foresee that. That stuff has to be ordered um, to make a piece like that, it's, it's like six different pieces of wood putting that together. Wow. So it's, it's pretty complicated. Yeah. In, so what are you guys going to do that? here? What's your plan? So I know it's hard to imagine and hard to picture, but before, again, we had a straight run with the railing across here. Mm -hmm. And the problem with that is they lost about a foot in space in the hallway here. Yeah. And there was just dead space down there on the floor of a foot, just, just nothing going on. So again, we're going to do an S-turn with the railing. So you're going to wrap it down and then wrap it around and... Exactly, and, it, and it's going to be great. It's going to look a lot more pretty. It's going to be beautiful. So Jay, we're doing a ton of work here in the master suite, uh -huh. but I want to show you something really cool in here. So Jay, check this out. This is a cool space. This was a bedroom, wasn't it? This was a bedroom upstairs here, and um, it was completely separate from the master bedroom. Mm -hmm. I had nothing to do with that. There was a little, there was a doorway to get in and a yeah, closet. A little closet over had. here, right? Yeah. It's a neat room because it has a lot of light, mm -hmm. and we decided to create a, a nice master closet for them. Oh, so this is going to be the master closet. Yeah, this is the master closet. Does it make a challenge when you got all the windows? It does because there's not as much wall space to mm -hmm. put the closet shelving in and mm -hmm. things like that. We are going to put some shoe racks uh, underneath the windows. So take that, advantage of that space? Yeah, it makes it usable, but it's going to be a great built-in shelf. Um, we're having a company come out and do that for us. We're going to have an island right in the middle, middle of the area, mm -hmm. which makes it real usable. So it's, it's going to be an excellent closet. Where it used so to this is where they can fold all their clothes and stuff? Yeah, do some ironing, fold their clothes. It used to be kind of a smaller bedroom. Now it's a good size master closet. That's going to be perfect. So it's, it's, it's a nice space. So outside here on the chimney, what they had was some red brick. Mm -hmm. And red brick's all right, but it didn't match the house at all. Yeah, it looks like they're more going with earth, earth tones. It looked off, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So um, what we wanted to do, and what we had a great idea, was to put some stone on there that's going to match the house, match the stucco, and match the rest of the stone that they have on the house. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, we had to run some new electrical work for the, uh, for the remodel inside mm -hmm. and run some conduit. So we decided, since we have to tear into there anyway, let's put some stone on that chimney and let's upgrade that. So it worked out perfect. You were able to run the electrical inside the chimney and redo the chimney at the same time. That's right. Looks good. Well, the guy I went back over to the Jamison's house to check out all the final changes with Aaron. So Jay, if you remember, there used to be two rooms here. What we wow. did is we took the single door and made it into a double door, opened that up. Right where I'm standing was the furnace. I remember, you accessed from the hallway, right? Yeah, so we just took the furnace straight up above me. This furnace is sitting up there working great. Great and, idea. And right along here, we had a, a, a wall that was yeah. separating two, two rooms. Yeah, and they don't need that extra room now. Yeah, so the, we opened it up, huge master bedroom now. It's Looks wonderful, like all the nice windows all across the back side there. Yeah, great view of the valley right there. Uh -huh. And so tell me a little bit about this railing, the stuff well, that you added in. Well, it was just a wood railing, um, kind of outdated, mm -hmm. you know, built uh, a few years ago when the yeah. house was originally built. So we upgraded to a nice handrail, mm -hmm. uh, stained handrail with beautiful wrought iron yeah. on there. Yeah, this is super popular right now. It is, yeah. it is. Yeah, the homeowners like it a lot. They love that. Now, Jay, I wanted to bring you to the master bathroom. And Lori went out, she found this beautiful uh, vanity here locally. I love it, it's beautiful. It, isn't it great? It's, it's elegant, it, the style of it. So that's kind of where we started and we wanted to center the whole bathroom and build everything around that as the centerpiece of our bathroom. Nice so work. if you see the fixtures, the lighting fixtures and everything in here, the style goes towards elegant. Yeah, very, so, very nice. I yeah. love the chandelier right above the tub. Yeah, that's beautiful. And again, goes with, goes with the style there. Now, if I want to bring you to this built-in master tub, it's big. Yeah, we went over to Standard. They supplied the tub the for Standard us. plumbing, is that who it is? Yeah, mm -hmm. Standard plumbing. Dropped right in, and you'll notice around the tub, uh, we did some custom tile work. Beautiful work. And all the tile that you see there, we got from Emser yeah. over at Emser Tile. In fact, they supplied all the tile that you're going to see here in the master bedroom, okay, very the nice. master bath. So we had our guys install that uh, tile, and, and we set that tub in there. And now I, I want to show you this steam shower over here. And show me. So over here at the steam shower, about the only thing that we did keep and reuse was this glass door yeah, that they had on the yeah. shower before. And then if you look inside the shower, you see this beautiful mosaic. And Very Lori nice. and, and Joe over at Wholesale Flooring, they got together and they designed that themselves. Oh, really? And they kind of just showed you what they wanted and you put it all together for them? Yeah, exactly. Along with the, the, sh the floor there on the shower. Mm, it's beautiful. And, and that's, a, that's a steam shower. Okay, that, well, I love steam showers. And so what's this thing up above here? You've got a, a, a rain shower head right above. Okay, so you got um, options. options. Lots of exactly. options in there, yeah. Very, very nice. I love all the tile work, beautiful work. And so headed down the hall here, what are we, yeah. what are we seeing? Yeah, I want to take you over here and, and probably the most, the thing that Lori's really excited about the most is a stackable washer and dryer. Mm, gosh, I would love to have one of those. Check that out. So you come from your, your uh, bathroom area, you got your washer and dryer, do your laundry right there. And from our laundry area that I just showed you, we come into our master closet. Wow, this has transformed a lot. This was a bedroom before, It right? used to be a bedroom. Yeah, a decent sized bedroom, but a great sized master closet. Yeah, I love this. Tell me a little bit about this. Well, this is a center island that they have in their master closet. They can mm -hmm. do all their folding right here. They have some drawers that they can they can put their knickknacks in and, and put stuff in there. And this still leaves perfect amount of space to be able to walk around and be able to get to all your clothes. Yeah, we had all this stuff built in. They have shoe racks along the bottom underneath the windows. Yeah. Yeah, right here, where you're looking, there used to be a door. From that the was the door of the hallway, That's right? how you got into this place. So we just close that off, and just like that, yeah, free, put a door right there. Big master bedroom into your much bigger uh, master bath, and then roll right into your huge master closet. It, I love it. It finishes off the master suite. Perfect, perfect definition of a master suite is having a closet like this. Yeah, this is nice work. I love yeah. it. So, Jay, this is the formal dining room here. And I this remember. is a significant room because this is where the water damage was. Yeah, I remember it came right down the ceiling. So you fix the ceiling there. Yeah, fix the ceiling, fix the wall, got new mm -hmm. base put in there. And in this room, we did new hardwood floor yeah. as we, as we did beautiful. throughout the rest of this level in here. So Jay, we're here in the mudroom now. And uh, we had some water damage. We put a new ceiling in for them, got uh -huh. that all done. Mm -hmm. uh, so as we continue on here, I wanted to show you this floor. 
Um, again, we got the tile from Emser Tile. Uh -huh. It's a 12 by 24, and they decided to go with the earth tone because that goes with the rest of the house. Now, I notice a lot of people are going to this new kind of length and style, right? Yeah, the 12 by 24, what you do with that is you put it on a brick pattern, and you do it on a one-third, two-third brick pattern mm -hmm. because you get the le it ends up being a lot more level, and you don't get le uh, little lips and edges on there. As uh -huh. you're walking, you don't feel those. If you just did a regular half-and-half half brick pattern, you'd have some problems, you'd feel those edges sometimes. Yeah, it's really, really smooth. The beautiful tile, I really like it. Aaron, I can't help but notice uh, the hardwood floor here. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, the Jamisons decided to go with hardwood on their whole main floor and replace the old wood, what was here. So we went on over to wholesale flooring, mm -hmm. and Joe helped us out, and uh, Lori picked out a beautiful walnut uh, engineered hardwood. Now, when you say engineered hardwood, what's that mean? A little bit different than a, a true, um, pure hardwood floor. Mm -hmm. um, it's engineered, meaning that the top layer, uh, about a millimeter thick, is real hardwood, and then the rest is a composite underneath that. Mm -hmm. And then what's the benefit in that? Well, the benefit is it's less expensive, mm -hmm. first of all, and it's typically more durable. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, exactly. Well, that's, both, that's what everybody wants, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. When this flood happened, the Jamesons were devastated because it, it really, they felt like they couldn't stay in this home anymore, like it had damaged it beyond, you know, the ability to stay in the property. But after getting done here, we've literally been able to create a new environment and, and make it even better than it was before. There's a term in real estate called functional obsolescence. And basically what that means is houses that are older, say like example a 1950s home where they made all the bedrooms the exact same size and they would have one bathroom and everybody would share it. The houses that are built today are not built like that. The houses today are built to have like a grand master suite with a huge bathroom and of course you want to have a big master closet. And although this flood was absolutely devastating, it actually helped them to be able to create this. And so now they've got all everything just like a brand new house would have. And the really nice thing about it is when it comes time to sell this thing, I'm gonna be able to get them a whole lot more money.